For Krumu Media in Johannesburg, I'm Simone Lutzke. With me today is Renewable Energy Provider, New Southern Energy CEO, David Mazurik, who will be speaking to us about renewable energy projects and the benefits thereof. Welcome, David, and thank, thank you. you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, could you comment on the market demand for market grid projects um, and the benefits thereof? Um, obviously, the demand across Africa is massive uh, due to the uh, severe uh, lack of energy access. Um, I think uh, you know the well-known uh, case of, of 600 plus million people uh, without access to power. Um, I think the microgrid obviously offers a, um, uh, a much more efficient um, and quicker rollout solution than the traditional uh, centralized energy grid. Uh, with far less, um, you know, lead time in terms of uh, infrastructure and funding uh, approvals. Um, so I think it is uh, very much the um, solution for addressing that need. And um, I think, uh, you know, the demand is, is really uh, endless for that. Okay. Uh, some industry stakeholders um, seem to be of the opinion that South Africa is ahead of the renewable energy curve. Do you share the sentiments? I think that South Africa has been at the forefront, um, especially in terms of the uh, REAP program. Uh, we definitely set a benchmark in terms of uh, how to run successful um, bid windows um, and do large-scale uh, projects. Um, I think obviously over the recent years with the lack of signing of, of the, the recent rounds, it's, it's perhaps dented our image uh, in many respects. Um, but that being said, I think we are still at uh, you know one of the leaders in terms of renewables, um, and especially with uh, you know microgrids and focus into Africa. Um, yeah. You mentioned um, obviously renewables and microgrids. What do you think South Africa or even Africa's um, energy future will look like? I think um, you know we're at the early stages of the energy transition. Um, I think the transition is going to take you know. Um, perhaps uh, longer than everyone expects, but also shorter than uh, people, you know, some other skeptics might think. I think over the next, uh, you know, 20 to 30 years, renewables is, is going to play a massive uh, part in the energy mix. Um, I think with storage uh, becoming more and more of a, a factor uh, to, to couple with renewables, um, we're going to see um, a much higher penetration uh, into the future. Um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, there is going to be um, a mix. Um, there will always need to be some sort of mix. Um, but, you know, I think the tr old, old traditional energy sources such as coal will uh, eventually phase out. Thank you, David. Thank you. That was David Mazurek speaking to Engineering News about renewable energy projects.